Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, D-Field here bringing you another Rise SMP episode today. We are going to help out with spawn. So, we've been we've we've been doing our own for a little bit, guys. So, we're going to help out with the spawn a little bit. And um you know what? We're going to we're going to try to make the walkway. So, we're going to make the basis of the actual spawn right now. You know what? I forgot a shovel. I really need a shovel, so let me grab a shovel really quickly, but yeah, we've been on our own adventures, making our own farms, getting ourselves settled, and it's time that we gave back to the Rise community, and we are gonna go try to help out with building, so, um, Datawood has been put in charge of basically building everything, and I think that's a lot of pressure on him, so we're gonna help him out a little bit, uh, we're, so we're gonna help him out at spawn, let me see, where's my shovel, ooh, that shovel's nearly broken, I really should repair that. Uh, 622 uses. Hopefully, we'll, we'll be good enough to uh, fix that. So, I'm going to make sort of like this sort of floor design, but with, uh, we're going to have polished diorite. We're going to use gravel, cobblestone, and stone bricks and stone. So, it's all going to be in like a random pattern, sort of similar to what we did on this floor right here. But we're just going to be able to map out the entire, the entire spawn area for everybody else, just so that people can start getting to work on whatever it is they need to do. So, Everybody is still, you know, everybody's still making their own houses. They're making their s sure that they're uh, self-sufficient. They're able to provide themselves food. So nobody's really worried about making the spawn beautiful yet. So what future plans for this area? We're probably going to have a big, like, structure here that covers the nether portal. Making that, like, really, like, the central focus of that nether hub. And then here, we're going to have to start having a bunch of, uh... Like a bunch of stores, as you guys can see here, Kyle's asking for cobblestone, oak logs, and blue clay. So, I don't really have any of those. I have some cobblestone. I'll probably donate to that chest uh, in a little bit. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to start to mark out different businesses here for everybody. So that people are allowed to make their shops wherever they please. So... Uh, my shop takes up a little, like, quite a bit of area, but since we have all this room, we should be able to fit at least everybody's shop at least uh, once or twice, so everybody will have room to have either uh, one or two shops. Did your chicken stop laying eggs? I don't believe so. My chickens are making love just fine. <laughs> So yeah, he's talking about he's I don't know what he's trying to do Maybe his chicken farm is something's wrong with his chicken farm But well, we're gonna start to mark out spawn a little bit here guys uh, mark out a little walkway For people to start making their little houses and uh, hopefully this helps out the community a little bit um, I mean they could always we could always change up the pathways of this actual stuff. Well, why is there water right here? But we could always change this up in the future could always add more different stuff add more texture to it, but we need I hear these weird clicking noises <laughs> from my chickens and no eggs are popping out. Uh, did you abuse them? <laughs> Nobum's chickens aren't ha hatching for some reason. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to continue marking out this little walkway. And uh, it looks like we have a small area right here, so I don't really know what we want to put in this area but I'm thinking that if we get enough villagers we'll have like a vi an actual villager trading spot right here because there is only a little bit of room here there is over 200 chickens hmm try killing some off and then making them breed again all right so no boom looks like he's having some trouble with his little uh so, kill like 50 chickens and then feed the other 150. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so, it looks like his problem was self explanatory and he solved it himself just fine. So, yeah, guys, we're going to be building this path right here. Oh, God, that, that, that just looks like that looks terrible. So, let's, let's put that there. This path is going to be pretty straightforward, really. And uh, I really don't know exactly what Kyle wants to do with this uh, exact build, so I'm kind of just making out the layout of the actual uh, thing. So Kyle's really, really good at uh, building, like, the walls. So as you guys can see, the walls might look really, really plain right now, but that's just because we need the main outline of the walls. And if we once we have that, that like, main outline for everything, we'll be able to actually start 
making businesses and looking making the houses and making this little village of ours look nice and beautiful but for the meantime we're just going to continue and try to make this or i'm not even sure if this is how exactly i want it but uh let's have like a split in the road right here so we're gonna have a big split in the road so one road's gonna go that way another road's gonna go this way looping around and then they'll meet back up here and then somebody could hold like a small little shop in the central area here per perhaps but you know it's all in good fun we're all just waiting and kind of Kind of just trying to make this off, you know, just eyeballing it sort of, I guess you could say. I'm just eyeballing the build, not really too concerned about the, the exact layout of everything. But we just want to try to make this look as neat as possible. So, if you guys imagine medieval towns, like, they're not 100% fully cleaned up pathways so they have to be they have to be messy sort of to an extent and then they have to also look beautiful so if you guys are wondering why is he why is he just randomly placing blocks it's because if we want to try to make this look realistic it needs to be kind of randomized to an extent where um if if people are looking at the town or if people are looking at the specific um, walkway it looks like a natural medieval walkway like that's that's the kind of theme we're going for around here since uh rise smp is like a sort of like a nature themed sort of area i guess you could say this is what we're trying to go for and it's like based in the medieval ages like we've obviously got tools it's not like we have guns or anything so everybody is uh everybody's entitled to their own opinion but i just think or i'm not sure if the rest of the members think of this but this is based in the medieval era so we should be we should be making stuff uh look a lot 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 better or at least try to make stuff look a little bit medieval so this actually would be a really cool place to have a fountain like a central fountain in the middle of the thing so there's room for a shop here there should be enough room for a shop here i believe room for a shop there there's dylan's shop and then we should be able to start. So let's get started on this in the central portion of the actual walkway. So I've been spending time just digging out the actual thing. But what we're going to do is we have some polished dye right here. We're probably going to have to collect more. But we're just going to roll with it what we have right now. Not going to complain about what materials we have and what we don't. But once everybody starts to actually throw in and uh, contribute to, to the rise uh, donation or to the donation chest. Whatever you guys want to call it. So let's put this here so as if there's like a walkway going this way. Uh, put that there. And then cobblestone, gravel. Let's put one of these away. And then that should be good. And we'll have like stone there. Oh, I just wasted that. But it's fine. No big deal. We'll just keep going. Right on rolling here. Making the outline of our, of our little spawn area here. Uh, let's see. This should be die right here oh this is gonna look so good guys i already see it i already could imagine all this looking and turning out really really well so let's hope hopefully it turns out how we want it if you guys hear background noise in the back it's because my mom is like talking to my brothers right now i don't know what they're yelling at but anyways ooh, that thing dropped an iron ingot what the heck we're just gonna continue mark out at least we're gonna try to finish at least up to here of this uh, little of this little walkway area and hopefully everything turns out nice and hopefully Kyle likes it to the point where he doesn't have to destroy too much if if things need to be changed but uh, let's uh, mine this up put this here put this here and then we'll have like a sort of straight walkway going this way and there we go we made it all the way to the entrance oh we're gonna we're definitely gonna need more diorite if we're gonna have this as our as our main hub so there's Jack's house. There's Jack's main house. I don't know why he made his house so close to spawn, but whatever. Whatever floats his boat, right, guys? So we're going to probably have to collect Andorite or Diorite off of camera as we don't, we're don't. we not even close to having enough. What the heck? This spider's owning me. Die! Torch this area up because he just spawned right over here somewhere. Torches. Make sure nothing is spawning. All right. Oh, I saw a creeper over there. All right, let's put this here, mark this out, see how much we could actually finish up here today. Oops. Uh, we have 35 pieces left, so we should be able to get at least up to that, that community chest right there done. 
and uh, we could have like not notice signs on here we'll have like a big billboard stuff to visit like uh, sh there's so much that we could do there's just so much we could do with the rise and I actually I love being in such a tight-knit community where we could all just talk to each other and have fun and whatnot so let there we go let's th there's the main outline of it and what we're just gonna do now is we're gonna take these and mine up this um, we're gonna mine up the dirt and kind of just randomize it to an extent where it looks like a nice cool patterned layout for uh, spawn basically so there we go guys uh, I'm not sure exactly how long this episode is I haven't been keeping track of when I started recording but we're just gonna I'm gonna try to get to at least this portion right here on camera and then after that, after that, we're going to just end the episode right there. This freaking door keeps closing and opening. These guys just don't know how to, how to read and uh, listen. My friggin' brothers out there, Jesus, oh my gosh. So excuse, excuse the background noise, guys. These guys are freaking annoying. But all right, let's get, let's get to it. Hopefully my shovel doesn't break. I actually want to repair the shovel because it's a really nice enchantment on it. So. Here we go, getting started on spawn, guys, and uh, we are just going to move right on. There we go, covered up everything, Look, everything is looking good. At least we'll finish up to this portion here. Wow, now they're starting to freaking vacuum in the background. What do they not understand? I don't understand, like, oh my god, I, they're making me angry right now. Jeez, what are they thinking? Oh god, I put that there, let's put stone, stone here gravel random layers of cobblestone around stone brick randomly around stone stone let's put gravel here oops I, I keep putting this dirt down I need to take this out of my hotbar uh, stone stone gravel gravel stone so as you guys can see just like a randomized it's a randomized pattern not really thinking too much about it kind of just placing it where it, it feels right so there we go we finished off the first portion guys uh, no boom just logged off what's up no boom and uh, let's see stone bricks here we'll finish out this first portion we're obviously gonna need a lot more diorite and whatnot but for the meantime I wanted to use the new blocks for this little spawn area we can always change it in the future but for now there we have it there's our small walkway leading into spawn we could always clean it up in the future but thank you guys for watching today's episode if you guys haven't already let me know what you guys want me to name that horse I haven't actually tamed that horse yet that'll, that'll probably be in the next episode but yeah thank you guys for watching today's rise SMP episode if you guys enjoyed building spawn or building the walkway to spawn anyways make sure you guys hit that like button and, and as always, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. This is D Field building some of Spawn's walkways, and we will see you guys later.